What is up, everyone? Welcome back to uh, some more of uh, Star Ocean. Um, to be honest with you, I am playing catch up right now, so you're gonna. This is basically speedballing. Um, I'm gonna show you guys where I'm actually at. So let me show you my loads. Oh, okay. So I have had the reset from 15 to 16. Uh, so I'm currently at this number. This is the the last save I did. This is the current save I have. I am not saving anything this time. I'm just trying to show you guys the cutscenes. Um, I'll, t I'll sum up what I did in the uh, 30. How I got to level 39. I just did some fighting off camera. I did. Um, I basically got there enough loot to are. turn in some of the quests are. on the planet, on this planet, which basically uh, got me enough to become level 39. So. Don't worry, you're not missing much from the cut from the the side quests. They're not they're not the no details. Um, one of them is a stone quest, which is in here. Uh, it comes from that uh, it comes back from that um, the one city that we came from, the Trophy, the new one. Um, the stone quest is easy. It's some item you pick off the ground and then you turn it into the girl, and she gives you a scumbag sword. The scumbag sword is garbage. Um, it can apparently insta kill scumbags, the monsters, um, if it hits them. But you know, that's if that's a twenty percent chance of killing them instantly. But it's not, you know, it's not worth it. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys the cutscene here, and uh, I go go grab my food because I have food in the microwave right now. And uh, enjoy. Isn't this...? Yes, it would certainly seem to be one of Sarah's feathers. This is consistent with our earlier information. Miss Sarah must be here. Let's split up and see if we can't find any clues. Statues are the ones Sarah was talking about? The Mua? You know, the ones that she said look like you and me? The Mua, huh? The race whose genes we were supposedly implanted with. <sighs> I see. They do indeed evoke your images, in a way. But more than you two, I'd say they resemble... Earthlings in general. That's my impression. How could the Mua have existed on both Earth and Roke, so far apart in space? What were they? It's so strange. Even though their genes live inside me. Raimi. Hey, everyone. Come here, okay? I caught Sarah's scent. But it's a dead end. <sighs> huh. Not gonna be that easy, I guess. Aww, this is like so deflating. Well then, what shall we do now? There seems to be little point in remaining here. I wonder if Sarah is even here. <sighs> I know it. I'm positive. Positive she's here. Eureka! What is it, Mary? I just had a revelation. When you're stuck like this, there's only one solution. Ask for help. Ask? Ask who? Who else? Lady Elena and Trump, of course. Lady Elena? You mean Sarah's fortune teller acquaintance? 
Lady Elena probably knows everything. I mean, seriously, she's a sage, a holy maiden. <sighs> Isn't that just from some fairy tale you read? Yeah, but come on! Sarah said she was going to see Lady Elena too. She must know something. I want to go too. It sounds fun, Katie. What's the plan, Edge? Let's go. It's better than standing around. What proof do we have this Elena can be trusted? Sarah said it herself. People who've lost their way go to see her. We may not have any proof, but I want to trust Sarah. So uh, let me show you what, uh, you can cook little things here. I'm not trying to fight any creatures right now. Uh, this thing, you can examine, there's a slot in it. This is probably how we're gonna get through the door. Um, I'm not gonna go open any chests. Like I said, this is speed running. The enemies of my fate! I'll open the door. And then... Yeah, like I said, we're speed running this. We're not trying to... I'm not trying to fight anything. What the heck? There we go. So then there's this clickable, which is the Mua thing. Ooh, the, so these are the Mua. They do look kind of like us, I guess. Yeah, that's practically it. Um, there's ch multiple chests in here. One we can't get to. Because it's behind this dark, shadowy, scary door which hurts me. So we'll have to come back for that, I guess, in the future. And there's practically nothing on the bottom floor here. Uh, it's practically just empty. However, there is this one thing right here. It, it will appear here once you get the quest from the girl uh, in the town. It'll be on the floor and pick it up. It'll be light right there. So that's practically it. Let's go trigger the cutscene for the, the cultist guys will be screeching. Um, that should probably that should just about get us caught up for this video. So sorry guys, if you are a little questioning why I'm doing a speed run, sorry, but uh yeah, Jarbo's wants me to be are. done with this game. Basically, so I gotta guy like I've been putting the, the hammer to this game, you know what I mean? I'm, I've been fully steamrolling ahead on it. Like, I technically can't play anything else until I finish this game, so that's how it's rolling right now. And there's one game I need Jairos to play, which is gonna be a horror game, but I gotta try out the sequel. See if I can play it on here. Because, uh, it's an indie game, and I wanna play the third game. And also, Jairos has his own RT RPG game he's got play still. That's Tales of Auraria. Um, he only, he's on episode, I think it was episode 4, but he's been holding off for a long time because I am playing this and we don't want to pull, uh, play two different RTSs at the RP, RTS, RPGs at the same time and basically over bog you guys with RPGs. So we're kind of like, uh, taking turns basically. So I play a bunch of first person shooters and stuff like that and then he, while he plays an RPG and then I play an RPG. We just, it's kind of like a rotation. That's kind of what we're doing right now. It's like a, it's an interesting concept we, I, I, we come up with, but, you know, it's, it's just the inner workings of the back channel. Um, Custom Zombies will always be on this channel. Uh, to the best of our extent, we'll try to do our best to do all those. Um, basically, this whole week we spent making Custom Zombie videos. So, yeah, let's, without further ado, let's just get through this cutscene and then I can end it. And you guys can have this very short, fast video for the first time in ever. Oh, huh? righteous flock of wandering souls, give pause and lend me your ears. The advent of our long-awaited hour of salvation is at hand. Yea, 
He who shall save our wretched, iniquitous souls, the Supreme Being, the Almighty Lord, Asmodeus. His the resurrection the is nigh. Is Asmodeus, you people, you can't be... Church of Sydney. The Archfiend cult? Indeed, we are the Church of Sidonay. But I ask you, what reason is there for you to be worried? It is Asmodeus who shall deliver this world unto salvation. Asmodeus, the Church of Sidonay. Avert your eyes from false peace and witness the truth of this world. If you would do but that, you shall surely begin to see. Your beloved families, friends, and neighbors blighted, becoming as cold stone, trapped within the clutches of darkness and pain oh. forevermore. The remedy that would cure us all is monopolized by the ruling elite and does not reach the hands of the common man. That is unjust. Would you not agree with me? Oh. He has a point. Yes, my friends. This world of ours walks the wrong path. The virtuous and chaste writhe in agony throughout the land, while the wretched and shameless fill the vessels of their desire. But there is one who would consume this miserable world in his flames of purification. Yea, none other than the magnificent Asmodeus! Oh, yes. This Asmodeus yes. might yes. actually be a pretty nice guy. Such a world. W wait the Archfiend is going to burn down the entire world, right? Wouldn't we burn to death right along with it? Yes! It is precisely as you say. Asmodeus will consume the world with his flames, and we along with it. B but then we'd all die. What good would that be? Indeed, then, shall we not all burn together? What? By accepting Asmodeus as your savior, you shall receive his divine mercy. His destruction of this ugly, wretched world is merely a gateway to the beautiful new one that he will create. Within that new world, Asmodeus' followers, we shall be granted eternal happiness. We must but love the Almighty Lord unconditionally, so that we may be bathed in the light of his divine love in return. The pain of being consumed in his flames of purification will last but an instant, but the happiness granted in his new world will be eternal. I say to you again, eternal! So this is Sidonaism, the cult of the Archfiend. They are clearly not to be taken lightly. He speaks with such conviction. I wouldn't be surprised if he gained a lot of new followers here. Of course, as we all know, everything that comes out of his mouth is absolute nonsense. Indeed. These people have stopped receiving medicine only because shipments of raw materials have been stymied. And we must not forget whoever was behind the Bandit Edge defeated, attempting to halt the Remedy's distribution. But of course, the Royal Knights are dealing with that matter. And in any event, this Archfiend doesn't exist. Sooner or later, people like him will disappear. Huh. Something wrong? No, I was just thinking. 
I was wondering what will happen to his followers when their leader does disappear. It's none of our business. Let's go. Alright, uh, yep, yeah, that was it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that the next part is gonna be taking place at the castle. Uh, that's my only assumption, because I've actually, uh, walked from all of us from the here, all the way to the docks, uh, across the island, uh, where that first dock is, near the ship. So, and I didn't get anything. So, I'm gonna guess we have to go to the castle, the royal capital, to actually get something to occur. But, uh, yeah, as always, like, subscribe, uh, like, and subscribe, as always. I'm going to bed after I eat, eat this little thing I microwaved earlier. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.